Okay, Earth Lights 5. I want you to look at this circuit. And uh, what I'm doing here is uh, I've wound my own transformer, which I've talked about. And I've got a 2222. And I've added a 18K in the base circuit. And uh, another 2N2222 for the collector here at the base and then the emitter to the ground of the air cell right here and then when the solar cell sees seven tenths to eight tenths of a volt it pulls this to ground and shuts the earth light off okay but there's something I'm going to show you here this is the normal magnesium rod right here and what I discovered was elm is what seems to protect this so all you have to do is just spray this with a spray bottle and I'll do that real quick here for you just spray a little bit on there like that okay and shove that down in your earth cell here and connect her up and then here's the circuit and when I shut off the solar cell the earth light comes on see and you can see the current that's what this cell puts out and it stay, maintains that pretty well because I haven't done anything for days to it except I only sprayed it once but I did this on the camera so you could see it and that's how she works and so this is the transformer that we wound okay and if you look real closely here I show you 35 feet of number 31 wire by Fowler wound okay just like you see it there around a piece of welding rod and that that does it and as long as you use this type of circuit and you adjust the base resistance then the earth light will come on every night providing you can keep the cell wet uh, providing that you can keep this cell wet but you only need to spray a little of this elm on to make the magnesium seems to make the magnesium last a lot longer but you can get it in the grocery store and that's what it is so I just wanted to share this with you that that's what I found that helps a lot and then uh, I'll do some other circuits with this later on and I'll keep posting videos on what I find out about it thanks for watching